Super Bowl 51 is scheduled for February 5th, and only few would be surprised to learn the New England Patriots' Tom Brady will be making his seventh Super Bowl appearance when the Patriots take on the Atlanta Falcons and quarterback Matt Ryan. But here are five things you may not know about Super Bowl 51. First, though the 31-year-old Ryan posted one of the best performances of his career in Sunday's game against the Green Bay Packers, the odds in Vegas are still against the Falcons, as betting experts are putting their money on Brady and the Patriots. According to FoxSports.com, the Patriots are three-point favorites over the Falcons and spreads released by various sports bookies immediately after the Pats' victory Sunday. Second, the Patriots have had great luck in Houston. The last time the city hosted a Super Bowl was in 2004 when the Patriots beat the North Carolina Panthers 32 to 29 in Tom Brady's second career Super Bowl appearance. Third, those who bet early in the season on Atlanta could rake in huge profits in the case of an Atlanta win. Stats show they were major contrarians, according to ESPN's David Perdum, who points out that sportsbook operator CG Technology took more bets on, get this, the Cleveland Browns to win the Super Bowl than the Falcons. ESPN points out that sportsbooks do well on their Super Bowl futures markets regardless of who wins, but an Atlanta victory would be a bigger boom. Quote, we took a $5,000 bet at 40 to 1 on the Falcons to win the Super Bowl. The ticket would net $200,000 and we would still win almost a million on the Falcons. That's how few people bet on them, said CG Technology Vice President Jason Symbol. And as pointed out in the Dayton Daily News of Ohio, the Big Ten team with the most alumni in the Super Bowl might just be the one that fans would least expect. Rutgers University, which won only two of its 10 games this past season, has four alumni heading to Houston, including Bengals receiver Mohamed Sanu Sr., who signed with Atlanta as a free agent last offseason. The rest are Patriots and all defensive backs. And finally, for those looking to buy Super Bowl 51 tickets, this year's game has an average resale price of about $4,900. That's according to SeatGeek.com. The site adds that face value for the tickets is a range of a whopping $6,000 to $12,000, but that ticket prices tend to go down as the game approaches. And the best place to buy a ticket is on the secondary market, where the average ticket price typically costs between $2,500 and $3,000, depending on the matchup and when you purchase.